going into game one. <laughs> yeah. For the first time ever. Um, and yeah, like you were saying a little bit ago, uh, Pegasus is a little bit more aggressive, and Breadstick is playing super defensive right now, it seems. Um, just kind of moving around. Oh. Recognizing that F strong is a good move. Ooh, Pegasus, look at this. All right. Look at these. Up I see you. I'm, yeah, I'm just going to assume that he doesn't know how to parry bubbles. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, he won't. Pr he probably won't know anything rivals really like parrying bubbles, which is why you see him jump over right there. Yeah. And uh, catch Breadstick noticing that habit and jumping up and up airing that leap of faith to go over bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, those are real bad bubbles right there. But Breadstick is definitely abusing the new player. Down, down strong, DI's in, gets the up air because of it. Um, I'm sure he's actually going to go back and watch his VODs. So Pegasus, when you get the chance, you can actually run up and parry those bubbles and send Orkane into parry stun. So that's a good one. Also, you want to no DI that down strong, buddy. Because uh, if you DI in, you can die at 80. If you DI out, sometimes you can just die. Yeah, that DI, he has no resources. Wow, gets that nice kill. That's nice. Very nice. Uh, down strong, fame seven, just coming out. Wow. And Breadstick going, for, really Breadstick going for the cheese. Both of them just kind of laughing that off. So if you were Ori, how would you be edge guarding Orkane? Um, if uh, if I'm Ori edge guarding Orkane, uh, Ford Strong is a good one when you know they have no resources left. But uh, you know he's actually going for good options with those up airs and uh, jabs. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably be charging sign up a little bit so you can release it if he gets behind you. Like kind of like run run forward, try to get the shortened uh, recovery while exploding sign behind you. Yeah, I don't see Pegasus use Sign Tap or Sign Charge at all. Yeah, he's too new to the game. But uh, once once he gets used to the Sign stuff, that's going to become a, a key part of the edge guard for sure. Uh, but I like the options he's going for. Like, he understands what he needs to do for the most part, which is pretty cool. Ooh, wow. that extended hurt box from the Ford Strong just getting eaten by Orkane. Yeah, that was unfortunate, but he had to read. Yeah, he did. He absolutely knew exactly where Breadstick was going, but, you know. Hitboxes can be jank if you don't know them, my friend. Ooh, up airs, nice. He's using platforms pretty well too. Like I, I just saw him use a uh, bash with his side B. Oh, really? Nice. So I guess he knows some setups. Yeah, he said he's been watching a lot of the big tournaments and really grinding it. But um, should have taken it down to last stock in game one here. Not yeah. bad at all. Redstick, I saw him uh, like delete his pub his puddle to do the bubble butt. Yeah. And then he tried to up E into the bubble and it wasn't there. And that's why he died. Uh, he, he was completely out of resources too. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Breadstick taking that. Uh, had 40% on that last stock though. So um, <laughs> Pegasus looking pretty strong for his first tournament ever. Two weeks of play. Come on, man. Who did he play in winners? Oh, he, he played, played you. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. He didn't say no bully. He did not say no bully. Someone said it for him, but that does, that's not how it works. You've got to say no bully. I'm a victim of that. Yeah. You didn't say no bully, you're going to you're gonna fucking die. Um, but yeah, so Breadstick takes that game one, brought it down to last stock, and uh, you can really see a lot of the adaptation coming out, like the smash background from Pegasus. Um, yeah. I told him, I was like, if you keep playing this game and get used to the movement, you're going to be real scary real quick because shit's, shit's nuts, man. Right off the bat, just getting that quick, aggressive percent. Not sure if he knows what stages are good or not, but... Yeah, I probably wouldn't pick this as Ori against Orkane, to be honest, because it's just so big. Um, I actually didn't... I don't remember what Breadstick banned, but I would have tried Spirit to... Spirit Tree and Tree Tilt, I Okay, believe. I probably would have brought him to Rock Wall then. Yeah. Get those off the side kills. And in that sense, though, uh, Orkane also gets the off the side kills too, but I think as Ori, you're just going to want those a little bit better. Oh, goes for it. Um, doesn't quite get that up tilt, but if he was a little bit more patient on it, would have actually gotten a hit because of how Arcane's uh, side special works, where you, he's vulnerable before he actually has a hitbox out. So that wasn't a bad option, honestly. Just a little quick on the trigger. Uh, I don't know, but this might actually be a comfort pick for him, but again, not too sure. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad stage. It's just Orkane with a like really uh, low air friction, mm -hmm. or I guess high air friction, making him not go as far. Um, makes it really hard to kill him on this stage in particular just because of the huge side blast zones. Well, Breadstick had bad DI on that forest match and he died at 92. Yeah. 
And he, he barely died even with bad DI. And that's just like, that's just Zorcane, you know? Oh, down strong, DI's in. Oh, Bretzik went for the wave land and up air, but misses the wave land, and Pegasus gets to live another day up to the up strong, in. though. Yeah. That's gonna, that's gonna be a stock. Some more bubble abuse, bubble butt covering the tech options. That was really cool. Because yeah. I've seen him go for that before, but I actually haven't really seen that work out for Breadstick until now. And like, if it actually hits, then it's like super cool looking. I like that. That up air into back air. But Waveland into frame seven, baby. That will be game two. And uh, Breadstick moving on to losers round two. So um, if Stroder's available, I'll fight him right now. If not, I think uh, Fatty and Chef should come up. 